Hey everybody, this is Paul Damon with Strategic Stewardship Partners. And today we're going to talk about the power of donor advised funds. This is one of the most powerful charitable giving tools that's available to today. So I want to talk a little bit about the tool and how you can use it in your giving. First of all, the power is you can convert non-liquid assets to kingdom impact gifts. And there's so much benefit to you and the kingdom by using assets or giving assets that you normally wouldn't think about giving in your charitable planning. So there's different things that you can do with a donor advised fund. One is you can give stock. So if you bought a stock in the past or you own a stock, you can give that stock to a donor advised fund. If there's a capital gain on that asset, there is no tax on that. It's not recognized by you. The foundation sells the stock, pays no taxes, and converts that asset into cash for a charitable organization that you get to choose. The second area is mutual funds. Many of our clients, many of you invest in mutual funds. Great way to build wealth. Again, the same thing here. You can give shares of a mutual fund to your donor advised fund, avoid all capital gains, generate an income tax deduction, and convert that asset into cash for your favorite charitable organization. You can also give partial or whole interest in a closely held business. You can actually give a part of your business that you might own if you're a business owner, or you can give all of your business to a donor advised fund. Again, avoiding current income taxes, generating a tax deduction for yourself and your family, and converting that asset down the road into cash for your favorite charity. The next asset is a real estate asset. Actually, if you own real estate, and this could be your home, now most people aren't looking to give their home to charity, but a few that we've worked with have, but you might have a, an investment piece of real estate or uh, other types of real estate that you own that you no longer want and you don't want to sell it, maybe because of a capital gain potential that you have to pay. Another great way of transferring that asset to a donor advised fund, converting it to cash and avoiding taxes while generating a current income tax deduction. Personal property. Now this is really interesting. You can actually give automobiles, trucks, you know, the old planes, trains, and automobiles movie. You can give any of those types of assets to a donor advised fund. Now there's some restrictions and rules. You make sure you check that out with the donor advised fund before you go down this path. But if those assets are large enough or valuable enough, then that could be a very useful tool as well. Even household items, things that you might own around the house. Again, there's a, usually a minimum value required to make that kind of a gift, but all those same benefits. And also farm produce. We've actually had clients that have given harvest to their donor advised fund. Again, lots of tax benefits for doing that. Lots of charitable giving benefits to doing that. So all of these types of things can be considered when you think about using a donor advised fund to support your favorite charities. So, if you'd like more information, check out our website, www.strategicstewardshippartners.com, and you can learn more about these and other ideas, powerful ways of impacting the kingdom of God and all of eternity.